Hey y'all, welcome to week two of the Afterglow Top Knit Along, where we split for the front left, front right, and back. So, you'll notice on page 13 of your pattern, that is the section that we are focusing on right now, You'll notice that this process of splitting for these different sections is worked over four rounds or rows. Um, the first step is round one. And then after that, this last round, you're going to begin knitting your garment flat. So we're gonna switch over to rows at that point and I'll show you what I mean. So when you look at your pattern and you look at your garment, this is the beginning of the round. These are my markers surrounding my v-neck shaping. This is the marker indicating the right hand side of my garment. I am going to, for the first part of round one, I am simply knitting from the beginning of round marker to marker B. Once you get to marker B, go ahead and slip it. Now what we're going to do is we are going to work our v-neck shaping as we have been up until the middle. So looking at round one, we're gonna purl one, knit two, three times. You'll now see that we've reached the three middle stitches of our V-neck shaping. And what we're going to do now is use a centered single decrease to decrease by one stitch while making it look even and the same on both sides. So to work a centered single decrease, what we're going to do is first we're going to slip, slip, knit the first two stitches. And when we do our slip slip knit, we wanna make sure that we're slipping both of these stitches knit wise. Slip, slip, knit. And then what you're going to do is you're actually going to pick up the second stitch that you slipped and put it back onto your left hand needle. Make sure that you go in through the front of the stitch when putting it back onto the left hand needle. Move your working yarn to the back of the work and then knit these two stitches together. This is the centered single decrease. And it turns three stitches to two stitches evenly and it makes it look real pretty. All right, so now we're going to continue working in pattern with a knit two, purl one, three times. We're gonna go ahead and slip that marker. That was marker C that we just slipped, and now we're going to knit to marker A. Once you get to marker A, slip marker A, and then work your round across your back stitches all the way to the beginning of the round. If you did a ribbing pattern, continue in whatever ribbing pattern you've chosen. All right, I've made it back to the beginning of the round and I've slipped my beginning of round marker to my right hand needle. We've just completed round one of splitting for front left, front right, and back. 
We're now going to move on to knitting our garment flat and row two. So row two, I'll remind you, is going to go from our beginning of round marker to our new front center, and that's it. You're gonna wanna have a stitch marker handy if you want to indicate that new front center. So I'm going to knit to marker B. So I've knit to marker B, uh, I've slipped marker B, and now I'm going to work in pattern it, until I reach the first stitch of my centered single decrease. So you'll see these two stitches in the middle. These are our centered single decrease stitches. And for row two, we're going to be working into right in between those two. That is going to be the new front center. All right, so I am right in between those two stitches. I'm going to place a stitch marker to indicate the front center. And now I'm going to turn my work. So that was row two. We're on to row three. So with the exception of this little setup over these first three stitches we're gonna work, we're simply going to be working in pattern. So these first three stitches, we're gonna turn into an I-cord edge. To do that, we're gonna have our yarn in front. We're going to slip one, slip two, and then we're going to purl into that third stitch. From here, for row three, you're just going to work in pattern now, all the way around and back to the front center marker, slipping, all stitch markers as you encounter them. When I say work in pattern, I mean, if you're looking at a purl stitch, purl it. If you're looking at a knit stitch, knit it. Purl stitch, purl it. Purl stitch, purl it. Knit stitch, knit it. I'm gonna keep going in this fashion all the way around back to the front center marker. I just finished row three and I'm back at the front center marker. I'm going to go ahead and turn my work and get ready to knit row four. Row four, is going to be different for everyone depending on what size you're knitting and whether or not you're doing a back panel or tank straps. This is a size three. So I'm going to go down and look at size three and then I'm planning on working tank straps for this one. So I'm going to follow that option. So I'm looking at row four for size three. And I'm going to start by slipping two with the yarn in back. Once again, this is to get that nice I cord edging. I'm gonna knit the third stitch. Then I'm gonna work in pattern to marker C and I'm gonna slip marker C. Now I'm going to do my decrease after I slip marker C, and I'm going to knit to nine stitches before marker A. All right, I am now nine stitches before marker A. So I'm now going to begin binding off the remaining nine stitches, then I'm going to remove my stitch marker, 
going to bind off these back stitches. Now, if you're doing a back panel, that might be different. The reason why I'm binding these off is because I'm doing tank straps, so pay attention to that. But what I'm doing right now, like I said, is binding off these nine stitches, removing marker A, binding off all the back stitches all the way around to the beginning of round. And I'm going to remove that beginning of round marker and bind off an additional nine stitches. I'm going to do that quick and I'll meet you on the other side. All right, y'all. So I finished binding off the nine stitches from the right armpit, all of the back stitches and the nine stitches from the left armpit. And now to finish off row four, I'm going to knit until two stitches before marker B. I'm going to do my decrease and then I'm going to work in pattern to the front center marker. And that will complete row four. As you can see, I'm back at the front center just in time for the sun to go down and just in time to begin working on the front left section of my garment. So go ahead and move the stitches on your left hand needle right now, the right side of your garment. Go ahead and put those stitches on a piece of scrap yarn so that we can get started on the left front side of our garment.